Hey guys, welcome back to Sound Design with Anna 2. In this video, we're going to do a weird sci-fi wavetable style pad. Um, so we're going to start off with oscillator 1. We're going to come down to the 3D wavetable section. And I had a quick look earlier, save me trying to find one while I'm doing the video. And I found this saw harmonics one, which I like. Now, what I find is when I'm using wavetables, um, there's there's quite often sweet spots to find and i found in this one around here there's some nice stuff going on so first thing i'm gonna do is drop this a couple of octaves so i'm going to use this oscillator around there and then i'm going to use one of the sample oscillators to complement it and I had another look earlier and I found this Shimmer One. Now, let's just solo that and listen to this quickly. So it's doing this kind of thing. Now, I don't want it up here. I'm going to drop this as low as it will possibly go. And the reason for doing that is it becomes atonal. It, comes, it becomes more of a kind of background sound then. And you can use, the thing about using samplers as oscillators, you can use them creatively like this. You don't have to use them pitch. You don't have to use them the way they're intended. Um, so this three octave down sounds more like this. So, you know, if you were watching Alien or Prometheus and you heard that in the background, you wouldn't question it, would you? You're kind of, you're already halfway there. So let's create this um, pad start envelope for the amplitude. And we're going to run oscillator one through filter one. We're going to take the sampler out of the filter one. So let's move this over to filter two so that it's not running through this filter. And I will use something like, I don't, I just want a low pass filter to run oscillator one through. And I'm going to create a similar envelope for the filter that I've got for the amplitude. And then we're going to use some resonance to pick, push that through a little bit. And let's try some drive. And let's just mute the sample oscillator for a second. And then what I want to do is I want to take an LFO to move this wavetable position. So I'll use LFO1, oscillator 1, morph. Uh, where are we? There we are. So if you use the depth knob to find the region, you know, how much of this you want to modulate. And then slow it down because we don't want it modulating that fast in this, in this sound. And then bring the filter back down again. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take a super saw. It sounds a bit weird, but I'm going to take a super saw and oscillator to um, just set this up quickly. You know, max voices. And um, we're going to take the volume down. It's just going to be like for a backup, a, a weird um, kind of wash in the background. Maybe an octave lower. So you can just about hear it there. Right, let's switch the sample op sample oscillator back on. Um, effects wise, we're not going to use a lot. We're going to use the standard uh, delay and reverb because this is kind of a special effects kind of sound. That's really all you want. Um, I'm going to use ping pong. It doesn't really matter what you set this to because it's going to be a long, a long sound anyway. Um, I'm just going to set it to four sixteenths, so it's like a quarter note. And feedback, probably about halfway, high pass around 100 as usual, and just let a, that much of the, the highs through. And then finally, we're going to add a plate reverb, uh, decay time quite high, five or six seconds, something like that. Big plate size, so you want a big room. Um, early and late reflections, reflections can stay around the middle. Modulation, I'm going to whack up because I do like the modulation on this reverb algorithm. High pass around 100. No, actually, maybe a bit more. 
and then let some more of the highs through. So let's have a listen to this. So that's a pretty cool sci-fi style pad sound going on there. I mean, you could you could go mad with sounds like this. You could spend ages, you know, adding more modulation and fine tweaking it. But I've only got a short time in this video, so I hope you found this one useful. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please. We'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.